got a course for you today, mothers. I hope you brought it. If you brought it, give me a hoorah. hoorah. We are testing your fitness today. Hoorah. hoorah. Testing your strength. Hoorah. hoorah. Teamwork. Hoorah. hoorah. My favorite thing out here, we call it mental grit. You got mental grit, give me a loud hoorah. hoorah. You are about to get muddy. Some of you are going to get a little bloody in a few of y'all. We're going to electrocute the hell out of you. Twice. <laughs> But we'll wash it all down with a cold beer at the finish line. Everybody team up, take a knee for me right now. Sending y'all on a mission today, and all it requires you is to be a badass self. That's DJ Need providing the sounds for us. He's running tomorrow, y'all. Give him a big applause. Yeah. Go ahead and kill it for me. It helps me know where you guys are at, you know, about the response I get from it. You'll make it. Don't worry. Uh, I also say at every wave a quick apology to all my athletes in here. Especially my older athletes, because I know our knees are gone, and this will be the hardest thing y'all do today right here. If your knees are bad, sit on your butt. If you cannot be down there at all, just stand on the side where you're not blocking anybody's view. I'll get you right back to your team when we stand up for our national anthem. Anyone in here that has very bad knees, after I'm done with this briefing, y'all just go in there and get your headband and beer. You passed your test, this is it right here. You know, let me tell you something too, guys. I gotta give you props here once again, Texas, that I go all over the country, all over the world, and this knee thing has become a tradition of ours. Now, sometimes there are people that don't want to take the knee, I get a little pushback on. I'll tell you the whole significance of the knee. I was born in Annapolis, Maryland. When I grew up in Little League, we always took a knee to come together as a team. We also took a knee at every event we were part of to honor those that gave service and sacrifice so that we could be out there doing that event. I brought this to Tough Mudder in 2011, it's become our tradition. I just said, those CRs, we do it wherever we're at. We honor our heroes. Every now and then I do get pushback. I had a guy at one of our events, he was standing right here in the middle, didn't want to take the knee, didn't want to stand on the side. Just wanted to give me the evil eye because he thought it was for my ego. So I'm looking at him, I'm like, look man, you don't want to take a knee or stand on the side because that makes you uncomfortable. Well, one, you're already feeling our course. Two, well, I bet it's uncomfortable for our firefighters carrying those heavy rucks running into them fires. And I bet it's uncomfortable for our first responders that run towards the bullets, not away from them. I'm pretty sure it's uncomfortable for our brothers and sisters overseas keeping watch for our liberties. But man, if you can't take a knee or stand on the side to honor that, but you go on out there, you have a good time all by yourself. Because in here, we are about community, 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 community. That's how we design this course. That's how we build these obstacles. So you are out there helping each other out, having each other's back. I want you to exercise that community feeling to the point where it's past muscle memory, it becomes spiritual memory for you. And when you're done with it here, take it right back home to the neighborhood. Take it to our nation and take it to our world. Texas, you have an imprint on this world. When y'all sneeze, we all feel it. I consider you leaders out here today. I'm not sucking up to you. You're here because you're supposed to be here. And if you don't feel that you're a leader, that's perfect. Because it's not a self-appointed position. You earn it by the way you live, by the way you serve. Y'all are freaking awesome. You feel that. You carry that with you for the rest of your lives. And you influence this world the way you can. Now my first timers, the way the Tough Mudder works is that everyone that's running is your teammate. If you're out there on the course and you come across somebody, they're like face down in the dirt, not moving, not breathing. Nothing's going on with that person. That's now your teammate. Tough Mudder rules, yeah, you can steal their stuff. But you must help them also. The way we help people here, do not pick them up. You don't know their injuries. Cross your arms above your head. That's going to signal to our medics and other runners you have someone injured near you. Everyone, let me see your ex right now. Perfect. If you cannot swim, don't go in the water. If you're good swimmers, look out for those people that forgot they can't swim. They're out here too. If you have a bad heart, metal in your body, ever had a seizure in your life, 
do not do any of our electric shock challenges. I am hearing already we got some epic face plants going on out here. Clinton Jackson's the man with the mic at the last one. He's funny, he'll get you through it if you wanna do it. But anything you are not feeling on this course today, go around, there's no shame in that. You are here to have a good time. Would you don't complete this time, come back to a future event, complete everything then. All throughout this course, depending on if you are running our five, 10, 15K, whatever we have set up, there are signs that will direct you which way to go. You must stay focused with that and stay on course. Over on that side, the shooting shit. <laughs> Over on this side, they're blowing things up. If you get something whizzed by your ear at a thousand miles an hour, that was a bullet, you are off course. <laughs> Stay focused. <laughs> Two most important things I want y'all to focus on. One, have fun today. You get to run today, huh? Feel that too, y'all. Put that in perspective. You get to run. There are people that wish they could run today, fighting for their lives in this world. But y'all get to run. And what you're doing out here today is as big a contribution you can make to this world as any, man. This building your community and being a better self this is the foundation for everything great we do moving forward. And you're the people to do this. I mean it from my heart. Look, y'all, once again, I want you to have a good time. But I want you to feel the opportunity that you have today. I am 61 years old. I've been on this planet for a minute. I've seen a lot of things. Now, they say we are a divided nation right now. Well, we've always had our problems. We've always had our hate. We've always had our growing pains. I've been all over this world. You know what we do better than anybody else? We've always had each other's back. Always had each other's back. You want to bring something back, you bring that back. Bring it to today and pay it forward. My first time is, we don't care about your time out here. The only way you can fail this course is you did not find your best. And I'm talking your honest best, not your settled best. No one is better than your best, but your best will make you better. That's gonna make us all better. That's how we get back to one nation, indivisible, sharing the world. You're my leaders, Texas, you take us there. Are we a team? Hoorah. Hoorah. Let's rise up as a team, face your flag for our national anthem, DJ. your teammate also give someone you don't know a little fist bump right now we do have a saying here at tough mother when was the last time you did something for the first time 
I got some first time for y'all. It's this way right here. Mothers, are you ready? You're friggin' awesome. All of you, have fun out here. That was hard.
You're good. Oh, thank you. You bet. All right, phone. Good luck. Ain't gonna work. No, that ain't working. Oh, that ain't working. There you go. This just cold, buddy. Oh, that ain't working. It's much wetter. I feel bad.
You got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, one more. You know where you at? Two mile mark, that's, that seemed way longer than two miles, but hey, whatever they say. I think two go. I think that's how it's designed. Oh my god. Mile three. I could have swore I was on mile eight. That was about done. Good to go or I have to wait for anybody? No, oh, you're good. All right, cool. What kind of sandwich you got? Ham and Swiss. Very good. Oh, that's terrible. Woo! I'm not congested anymore, so that's good. At least they could have almost moved the rocks. Next one, I don't know where I am, mile five or somewhere close. Oh no, I passed mile five. Oh, on to mile six. All right, here we go. Mile six. Oh, I don't see that happening. <laughs> Next 
Pretty sure that sign says two foot of water. Pretty sure. Oh, that's this thing. Grounded. <laughs> Picked a path with a whole lot of wires right here at the end. So I, uh, I haven't felt that. I felt right when I got in. I think it's just the front of the end. Just the, the metal for the railing is. Yeah. Except oh, it was the rail. Yes. <laughs> I touched the every single. Don't touch the fucking. Don't touch the, <laughs> Don't touch the rail. <laughs> Well, you're good.
This one looks broken. Oh, I wonder how long I need to crawl to do this. All right, the answer is yes. I'm going to get tangled. It's all about figuring out that strength. That's the moment. It starts to pull off you. Can support however I need to. Hey, you guys can come up. I'm hanging on here. Hey, you guys can come up. Best way to do it. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Ready, guys? Good job, man. Right. Okay, let's yeah, yeah. Ah. Nice job, Chris. Nice job. Yeah, guys. You can make me up. Yeah, MVP. 
Twice. Twice. 